It's time for New Wellness TV with Dr. Lee. Join your host, the accomplished Dr. Sherilyn Lee, as she welcomes the leading experts in health and well-being as they explore the advancements in natural health, physical fitness, nutrition, integrative medicine, and self-discovery. Good day, everyone, and thank you for tuning in. And especially thank you for tuning in today, the day of my birthday. So please, you know, this is going to be a very good show, a wonderful show. You know, I often wonder why people say that I'm, we are broadcasting in front of a live audience. Well, we're broadcasting in front of a live audience because you're right there, our live audience. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm, my prayer is that this show will edify you and help you with your life and your family. And please share this show with your friends and family. Our topic today is stress, sex, and your heart. I should have said everyone has been exposed to STDs. STDs. S is stress. T is toxins, and D is detoxification. So STDs, we all have been exposed to STDs. Stress, toxins, and de and we want to learn to detox from that. But it's ways. We are inundated today with uh, the environment and the toxins of, uh, in our environment and epigenetics. Uh, uh, we can change things around through epigenetics. But my guest today is an accomplished, a wonderful accomplished uh, a medical doctor, PhD, and uh, her background is just enormous. We did send out an email uh, with her her background, and so you can find a lot of that out. But she is uh, certified in uh, with ACAM, A4M. Matter of fact, this is how we met at one of the conference of A4M, anti-aging, um, environmental medicine. She's certified in that and so many other accomplishments. And I'm surprised we didn't meet at some of the uh, environmental medicine conference because I attend those as well. So it's just wonderful what you pick up and the information. And this is why I attend them for the same reason why you're certified, because we want to give back and help the people to, to understand what is going on uh, with their health. We're inundated. So my guest today, who flew in all the way from across the country, the world, actually from the Bay Area, <laughs> It's no other than Dr. L Lou. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. So, um, you know, before we get into this, everyone that basically went into health care, um, basically went into it because of their own journey or something in their family. So tell me, what is your story? My story started from Beijing, China. My mother is a renowned cardiologist. She's 80, uh, 90 years old. And still working. Still working still in working. Beijing. 90. <laughs> and my grandmother was a Chinese traditional healer. Okay. So I grew up in this two generations of female medical practitioners. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to be a ballerina and, and a singer and a painter. My mom was um, not sure about that. So yes. she said you better be a doctor and follow your family tradition. Mm -hmm. And, um, of course, I saw the joy and the reward um, when they help somebody. Yes. When somebody's life is changed, is saved, I see the joy. So mm -hmm. I, I decided to follow my mother's path yes. to become a medical doctor. Um, so my journey to, you, the, to the United States is really learning how to be the best. Yes. Um, also, to look for freedom. I think a lot of things is, is when we don't have freedom, our heart and our soul do not feel um, fulfilled. So yes. for me, coming yes. to America is a symbol of taking my own path. Mm -hmm. How wonderful. And you've been here in the United States how long? For 28 years. 28 years. 28 years, you said. You know, and it's just amazing. And I'm so happy we met because we've connected on so many levels. Yes. And even with my family, we, we're connecting uh, with my granddaughter you met today and then her mother, my daughter, who is a clinical nutritionist. And yes. it's just really wonderful. You're going to connect with another daughter who uh, works for a hospital. So it's just really wonderful. And then eventually you'll connect with my oldest daughter yes. one day. So I'm just really wow. thankful and, and grateful that you're here. Now, what, why did you pursue more um, 
I like the title more functional medicine, holistic medicine. It kind of all fits under that umbrella of natural healing. So what, what made you become certified in these other, which a lot, we, you know, we have a lot of problems with medical doctors. You yes. know, I have a lot of problems even talking to them with their patients. And my background is twofold, but I'm not a physician. Um, so I deal, still have studied first in the allopathic side. And we know a lot of the medical doctors, they just don't believe in a lot of stuff and things as it relates to holistic medicine. So what made you, <laughs> what made you <laughs> change to more natural ways of helping people heal? This is such an incredible uh, question. Um, you know, when I first came to America, I wanted to be a PhD scientist. And the reason is I want to find the cause of hypertension. Mm -hmm. um, so during this, my PhD research and postdoctoral fellowship in genetics of hypertension at UC San Francisco, this whole eight years of study, I realized disease in hum humanity has a multiple factors. It's not just one thing. It's not just your exactly. gene. It's not just the, you know, your kidney, your sympathetic. Mm -hmm. It's everything together. Mm -hmm. So I pursued clinical medicine because I also discovered many and many of the research projects are very hard to be funded. And many pharmaceutical companies, you know, sponsor research projects. So, of, of course, your scientific curiosity is very much influenced by marketing and market-driven projects. So for that reason, I decided to go back to clinical medicine instead of stick to, stick to the research. But when I came down to uh, finish my residency in Oakland, California, I realized, you know, medical doctors are not trained. No to look for the cause. Mm -hmm. Not They're, the whole person. That's why we call it holistic. Exact. Probably should have been with a W, holistic, the whole exactly. person. Exactly. Yes, exactly. We are trained to uh, manage crisis. Mm -hmm. We're trained to manage diseases. And, um, you know, pharmaceutical drugs are really powerful managing your disease. But not the but root not cause. But not the root cause. Not the root cause. Not the root the cause. Mm -hmm. But, um, of course, for myself to, you know, have my own practice, I started with allopathic. You know, I moved to Mount Shasta because I'm a mountain climber and a skier, mm -hmm. bicyclist. I want to live a healthy life and serve my patients, right? When I first start seeing my patients, you know, these people taking so many drugs. They're taking so many. They're like, Dr. Lu, you know, you are different. You're Asian. You're from China. You're a woman. You're an internist. Could you please figure out why we're taking so many? Yes. And every time we go to another specialist, we have another drug. And now <laughs> yes. I'm taking the same medication as my husband. And did you notice that you're given another medication based on the side effect of one of the other medications? That's what and I, I know figured. we shouldn't say that. I mean, we both know that. We both know that. Yeah, yeah. we both know yeah. that. And a lot of people don't, they're not even aware. Yeah. I go to the doctor, I have this symptom now, but it's a side effect of the one of the other it's, medications. Exactly. And when they come in, they come into my office as well with a whole bag of pills. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And so after practicing disease management with yes. pharmaceutical surgeries, radiation, chemo, I myself got sick. See, so this, this is a turning point. Mm -hmm. 11 years ago, I had a brain injury from bicycle accident, of course. And I started developing asthma, allergy, trouble sleeping, insomnia, like palpit palpitation. And I did all kinds of labs on myself, mm -hmm. according to the conventional way of thinking. Yeah, of course, you know, of course. You know, the heart, the, the, the EKG, the pulmonary function test. Tests, everything. And everything, blood tests, mm -hmm. everything look normal on paper right? not functional um, blood <laughs> testing that's what we do at new wellness functional blood testing exactly go ahead yeah so i also was packing up my bag to for a bicycle trip and i was packing up about eight prescription pharmaceuticals how many eight eight okay inhalers allergy pills mm -hmm. allegra mm -hmm. d sleeping pills you know those pills are all you know, pharmaceutical samples, oh, yes. right? Yes. So I started treating myself. Thank God there's no addictive pharmaceutical pills. Yeah. And um, But I was like, wait a minute. I'm 42 years old. My patients are 65, 75. Their average number of medications is 14. Yeah. I'm I, 42. I, I was put on 17. 
Yeah. And 92. After I came out the coma, most people know. 17 medications. So, yeah. So, right so you've been there. Yeah, I've been so, there. it just suddenly dawned to me, I got to find a better way. Mm-hmm. I didn't think about my patient yet because I didn't have the confidence. I thought my patient want drugs, right? Because, you know, people come they, to the medical doctor they want drugs. But most people do. They, they yeah, A lot ha- of people they're don't. They're not happy. Yeah. A lot of people don't. But some people, when I worked in that industry and in right. clinics, they do. You know, they didn't want you to tell them something natural. They wanted you to... They wanted a pill because they that they right. were ingrained with right. that. So many people ingrained that the I pill. need to have medication. Yeah, not not a pill because we deal with natural pills too. Right, <laughs> right. So so uh, what's interesting, Doctor Lee, is um, I decided to heal myself, mm-hmm. and I actually a patient came to me and demonstrated yes. that she could w- be well without all the pills I was giving her. Mm-hmm. So um, pharmaceutical pills. So I decided to try it. Within one month, I got rid of my eight prescription pharmaceuticals. And that's where people come in. They can see the change on my face. And they said, Dr. Lu, you look like you had a facelift. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. Now, what's Mm -hmm. really interesting is I, for all these years, I assumed everyone wants the drug. But I found a big percentage of my patients actually want to get fewer drugs to start with. Mm -hmm eventually get them off. Yeah. So uh, the other day I had an emergency room doctor call me because one of my older lady, she's almost 80, and she went to the ER for acute issue. And um, like she, I think she fell. And they couldn't believe she, take, she took no pharmaceutical drug. So she said, this lady said she's your patient and she doesn't take any drugs. How is that possible? And she has perfect blood pressure and cholesterol and everything. So I said, <laughs> yeah, she does not take any pills because she doesn't need them. The pills is not the anti-aging. It's not, no. you know, it doesn't make you feel good. You don't have a deficiency so in pills. Exactly. And, and, you know. So anyway, that's my journey. In the past 11 years, instead of treating the symptom, I ask the why. We're all too busy treating the symptom. But very few people ask the why. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I think one of the things, if you guys can watch a movie called Living Downstream, it talk about the villager, the, a village. And the village people are very kind, and they see people drowning in the water. And they were rescuing these people out of the water, and they're making boats. They're making new hospitals, resuscitating these dying people, mm-hmm. drowning, many, many of them in the water. And not one person look upstream, not one person, because everybody is, you know, fighting, fighting and trying to get these people out of the water. So root cause medicine is also upstream medicine, mm-hmm. is we're looking for the cause. We're not just looking yeah. to Cause treat Because it's symptom. funny, they have a new term, as I mentioned earlier, yes. called functional medicine, which I have on my website. We have a new website now, yes. uh, functional medicine. And with functional medicine, you know, I, I met the founder and I said, well, I've been doing this all along. Right. So it's always been there for those who's been, who have been involved with holistic medicine, yes. integrative medicine, complementary medicine. It has so many names now. Right. But functional medicine have been there. Now it's a new kind of terminology. Yes. But it's, it's nothing new especially for what I've always been doing, too, for over 30-some years. So I'm meeting someone who's decided that I'm going to adopt this way of helping my patients is just so wonderful. And we need more physicians yes. to kind of see that, uh, especially with the HMOs. And that's, I don't know, we have to really do a lot of praying to make the HMOs turn around. Yes. And do. But some of them has. I, yes. I have. I yes. know in San Francisco, I think they have, uh, they do a lot of acupuncture, Kaiser, Yes. And a lot of Chinese medicine. I have um, a dear friend that does auricular therapy. At, she was at um, Kaiser Hospital in, in that area, too, in San yes. Francisco. So some of them are, I think, too, demographically of where you're located. So, you know, our topic is, you know, we, we're not hitting on the <laughs> sex and love yet in the, your heart. Well, we're we're, 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 we're going to get there before the show is over. So please share this with your friends because it's so important what we're about to bring to the table now. There's a lot of statistics out there, and I know a lot of people can read up on statistics. Uh, we're not going to really kind of go over a whole lot of that on statistics, but to just let you know, it's getting worse. 
uh, because of our environment. And so I'm going to have my guest. She's going to, we're just going to highlight a few, but we know the statistics is higher because the kids are sleeping in beds that's inflammable, the carpet in the house of formaldehyde. You wonder why you have sick kids. You yes. wonder why, you know, then the, in the, in, in the carpet is the dust mites and they bite and they release toxins into the body as well. People living near um, uh, power, free, line. Free, power lines. And uh, freeways, yes. you know, are, are being in, inundated. And just to say that um, I, one of my patients works for the for the county. Mm-hmm. He's outdoors all the time. Mm-hmm. And at the time, I had him in a hyperbaric chamber. So every time, um, hypothermia, I'm sorry, in a hypothermia. So every time he would get out, because he was totally undressed, it was like black dots <sighs> of stuff all over the t- white towel. I'm like, what? I mean, I know the towel was clean because I put it in there. Or I saw the staff put it in oh there. My God, the and all, I mean, he was feeling better and better. But can you imagine all this black stuff came out of his pores onto the towel? So, you know, saunas are so important for healing and detoxing. It's one of the ways of detoxing. Yes. But it's amazing when you work in those environments, when you're out there, you wonder why I'm not healing. We have more toxins in our house. Yes. And we do have some time outside, then your EMS. So I'm going to let you kind of, you know, <laughs> talk about what's going on here in our environment, in our environment mm-hmm. as to why so many people are sick. Well, this is why the asthma, the hay fever, the heart disease, yes. the EMS, all of this is compounded from our environment. So, Yes. So one of the things um, I realized, there are two new modern life challenges, mm-hmm. and one of them is progressively invasive stress in the modern life, not, not, not only in, in the United States, but now is in China. Uh, the Chinese people used to work six days a week and we only have Sunday off, but we never felt this kind of stress. And now with modernization, you know, people seem to have more and more and they mm-hmm. want more and more and they compare to their neighbor and the, this <laughs> yes. economic mm-hmm. need, mm-hmm. right, that this consumerism is really stressful. The second modern life challenges is the uh, pollution. When we see pollution, some of them you can see, you know, have a bad air day in, in Los Angeles or Beijing, mm-hmm. but some of them you can't see it. Um, such as the um, old gas of lots of the modern fun- furnitures, um, EMF, which is electromagnetic frequencies. Exactly. Um, we also, people say, well, what is that? Well, that's really microwave free- frequency. Mm-hmm. You know, imagine you put your head in the microwave for a second. And also modern radiation. Uh, EMF is part of the modern radiation. And the climate change is lo- we are losing the ozone protections yes, of ultraviolet and solar radiation, the, the atmosphere radiation, plus Fukushima. Fukushima has released a lot of radioactive isotope, and many people don't understand those have long half-life. They're, you know, some of them are 20 years half-life. Mm-hmm. They don't just release and go away. You know, can um, I, I'm just going to interrupt yes. you for a minute. We had a wonderful uh, person on our show who spoke about the... Uh, clicks per minute of radiation mm-hmm. that we're supposed to have legally. Uh-huh. Uh, well, not so much legally, it's to be safe. Right. And it was something like 60, and I think from my, wow. my, my, my recall, it was something like 6,000 we're having. Wow. We're having 6,000, which should almost be a national alert. Yes. But then nobody's going to do that. Right. And then people wonder why we're having chest pains and palpitations. Anxiety. The problem with anxiety is just up to here. Yes. And then they're going to put you on a psychotropic medication for the anxiety <laughs> <laughs> and the stress that you're having, thinking you need right. to have, you know, a pill for that. And when we say a pill, it'd be more of a, a psych med or yes. anti uh, anxiety type medication. So, yes. And I want to say, too, I don't, and we'll get right back to it. For people, because we spoke about the um, EMFs and the frequency of what's happening, there is a website. It's antenna.com. And you can type in your zip code and find out how many antennas are in a 100-mile radius of your house, which is really important. Because if you have all these antennas, you know, and, and we're giving you a lot of information right now. 
But trust me, hang on in there because we're going to give you the solution. So you don't have to be sick. So you don't have to see, uh, you see this doctor here who looks very healthy, Dr. Yu. And and myself (laughs) who just have a birthday today, February 21st. And um, most people are saying I don't look my age. And number one, I don't feel it. And I have a great quality of life because of what I'm doing for my health. And yes. this is what I want for the, my listeners. And for, for those of you watching, I want you to be healthy, have a great quality of life, too. So we have some wonderful solutions for you. We're giving you a lot of what's happening, statistics. But hang on in there because we do <laughs> have the solution to the problem. Yes, I think the solution of the problem is critical today. We have been studying our human genome pro- project. Yes, um, helped us to understand. You know, fifty percent Americans actually do not know how to turn off stress. We have trouble metabolizing catecholamines, mm-hmm. and that's the COMT gene. Uh, gene SNP it's actually very common. It's fifty percent. Um, methylation. It's almost oh, 20, yeah. 30 percent people I, have I trouble. I do the tests with people and they're not methylating. So yes. they think, oh, well, I could just go take the right supplement. I'm taking this. But you're not even it's not doing anything for you because of the methylation problem that That's you're true. having in your body. And yes. I'm going to let you explain a little bit more on the methylation because people are listening. I, I don't want anybody. T- I don't want to lose anyone here, but we can <laughs> easily do the test. We actually do the gene testing at our clinic as well at New Wellness yes. so that you can know. And several of the people I know watching right now have had that test done. So just want to let you know the test is very important to do that. And it's very affordable. I think one thing um, I'm really excited is modern technology has enabled many of us not only guessing about holistic medicine, we're actually able to measure your nervous system response to stress, your genetic background, your toxic load. We can also do air sampling now, Mm homelab.com, measure your, your, you know, air. Because some people said, you know, I don't know. Every time I go into the house, I seem to have a headache mm-hmm. or I have a brain fog. You know, that could be mold toxins. And yeah. And one lady at work told me, said, I'm only sick at work. Uh-huh. So homelab.com. Homelab.com. That's wonderful. So maybe they can still do the test at work. Yes. You're, you're sitting there for eight hours. Yes. You know, in one spot. I mean, you'd get up and take a break or whatever. And some people don't even have a chance to do that. Yes. And uh, one lady, which is so sick. And one day her vent, it, it, it broke and a rat fell on her desk. Can you, A dead rat. Can oh. you imagine? And she wondered why she was so <laughs> sick at work. A dead rat fell on her desk. So we don't know what's in those air vents. <laughs> and we know that air keeps circling around and around when you're there. So yes. home homelab.com and it's very affordable they send you the sensor and this computer program so your doctor can see it too so um, I think one of the most important thing is we don't want to scare people to live in the modern society we want them to be aware I want them to know it is not just they are going crazy Um, 87% Americans are expressing psychological stress yes they are and so you're not alone we're all together in this I want everyone to be aware and then to find the solutions and mm-hmm. do your best. Mm-hmm. And I think the worst thing is actually to take an anti-anxiety pill. Because in the long term, I work with actually an Amen Clinic coach, Laurie. Mm-hmm. She told me about the brain clinic. scan mm-hmm. of people taking long-term pharmaceutical drugs. Mm-hmm. It actually punches holes in the brain. Yes. Um, you know, our brain is really not only incredible, we have lots of creativity. We can, um, you know, direct actions. But our heart is the most important thing. Yes, it is. Um, whenever you have a, um, a, a situation or decision to make, I really want you to listen to your heart. Because mm-hmm. I think the brain sometimes gives us a lot of fear, um, lots of um, judgment, doubting, um, self-worthlessness. So it's a, I want you to listen to your heart. Um, if you have a trouble time to make a decision, uh, to stay on the program, for, for example, ask your heart, is this going to benefit me? Is it going to benefit my experience in life? Um, having more love in my life. Yes. Right? So I think that's... And, and, you know, having more love, but first of all, making sure that you love yourself. We spoke about yes. that before. Yes. The number one key is you love yourself 
You yes. might not be in a relationship or have someone around you. We, we did a show like this on Valentine's Day, but yes. it's making sure that you take the time to really understand who you are, mm-hmm. look yourself in the eye, and love yourself. Mm-hmm. Really just really turn in and love you. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. Um, so love, we want more love. Now, I think one of the things people don't understand is when you have stress, there are a couple things happen, okay? So I'm not saying, uh, you know, it's very easy to get loved, right? To, to love yourself, to feel peaceful. I think we talk about the modern life challenges, and then we want to talk a little bit about the, the mechanism, how stress influences our brain. First of all, stress, whenever you feel stressed, Mm -hmm. your um, hypothalamic pituitary, your brain have a stress sensor. The stress sensor will jack up your sympathetic. And why is that? Well, sympathetic help us survive, right? So in the in the old time when we're gatherers and hunters, if an animal is charging at you, you have no time to make love and, you know, read a book and meditate, right? You have to get, go, and run. Run for your life. So it's biologically imprinted in our survival mechanism. So that's number one thing we do, okay? So just honor that. That's important. But our body doesn't know there's no tiger chasing us. Our body know it is stressful. We got to go, Mm -hmm. right? The second thing is we also create a hormone. The hormone is called somatostatin. Somatostatin is a hormone produced by hypothalamus in response to stress. Somatostatin, just as I said, somato is body, Mm -hmm. statin is stop. He basically tells your pituitary gland to shut down everything except the adrenal stimulating hormone, yes. ACTH. Yes. So our body is in this chronic imbalance of survival, survival, survival. Mm-hmm. So sympathetic adrenal overwork is very classic yes. in the modern life. Yes. And how do we deal with those two can drastically change your life. Yes, and you want to try to keep those two. Because I show people your autonomic nervous system. Yes. You know, we talked about that. Yes. But, so if you look at a picture and you look at the autonomic nervous system, it's here. It's controlling two branches. Your parasympathetic, which you just discussed, and then your sympathetic. Those two, you want to try to keep them balanced. Because if the parasympathetic is up here, then you're going to be in trouble. Because the cortisol level is going to be high. You're not going to digest your food well. But we have equipment yes. that can measure, <laughs> and it takes only three minutes to yes. do the measurements to find out your parasympathetic versus your sympathetic to know where you are. So we can know what changes that we need to make. And yes. we have a wonderful product they help with the pituitary. Yes. So we're going to get into all of that. Just hang in there because we <laughs> do have a solution to What's happening with the body? Don't I seem very calm today? And I've been racing around the city to get here on time. But it's so important that we take time out to Mm. to breathe and we take time out to love and smell the flowers. Mm -hmm. Someone told me that right before I went to my first Como in 92. Please Mm. take time to smell the roses. I was just going and going and going and not really realizing I needed to slow down just to smell the roses. But what I do now, it's a passion. Yes. So it's just getting up, and and I just feel like mm. so much energy, but it's the energy to see that I know I can share something mm-hmm. with someone to help to help another mankind, help yes. another human being to have a, a little bit more joy in their life, if possible. Yes. You know, and just feel good. That's what it's all about. Just feeling good. I'm yes. human. Yeah. You wake up some days and you feel like, you know, feel a little beat up and woe is me. But hey, snap out of it. We can yes. you know, turn that around. And once you focus on the things of being grateful, you yes. can snap out of that quickly. Yes. Quickly. I am grateful I'm alive. I'm grateful I'm, I'm not hooked up to a respirator. <laughs> I'm grateful that, you know, I'm not flat on my back and quadriplegic because we know people who are that way. Yeah. Just be grateful. Be grateful for the small things. It's the little things in life. There's a song that came out. It's, I think it's called The Little Things. But be grateful for those small things. Yes. Just be grateful. Yes. So, and I'm grateful that you are here on the show. So I'm very grateful because you're sharing some wonderful information. You know, while we're going through this journey of talking to 
I know uh, I do want to talk about thyroid, and uh, I just want to share one little situation. I, I had a dear friend who his person had a really bad problem with thyroid uh, problem, and what had happened was his thyroid, um, it came because he was wearing um, um, uh, shirts that had mm-hmm. gone to the cleaners. Mm. So he buttoned them all the way up to the neck, and guess what? They were so tight, and the chemicals from the Chemical, cleaners, yes, from the cleaners, caused him to have a lot of problems <gasps> with his thyroid. So sometimes it's the little things that are affecting our health that we wouldn't even think about. So we're gonna, wow. and those are the things that will really cause problems and chronic stress and cr- things in the immune system is gonna cause problems. So we're still on stress. So yes. we're gonna talk about those chronic issues. Yes. So one of the thing I. Um understand, uh, you know, from this incredible story I was told, is a um, thing about stress, as if you are th- you are throwing a frog in a boiling water, okay? <laughs> yeah. I think it's a horrible uh, way know, to torture animal, but it's just a story, <laughs> and the frog will jump out since the water is so hot. Mm-hmm. And so, if you, bro- if you put the frog in the very lukewarm water, and you slowly heat up the heat, the frog initially will say, well, that's not very comfortable, but it's not killing me, so I'll just stay there. So what happened is the frog will start getting cooked slowly, and over time, it, it, it really, he, he becomes so sick, the water is too, really too hot, but he couldn't get out mm-hmm. because he was running out of energy. So when I ask people, do you have chronic stress, which is really over six months, um, when you start to restore your health, you have to do it and you have to be consistent. Mm-hmm. It has to be your life um, way. It's the new way of new life. New lifestyle change. Exactly. A new lifestyle change. And it's a gradual. It's gradual yeah. mm-hmm. and it's daily effort, but do not give up. Yes. Because if you give up, you'll be cooked. That's that's one True. thing I, you know, I, I feel like um, because ma- many people want quick fixes mm-hmm. and um, they want to live in a stressful life, but they want something to fix them. We are not fixing you. We're not treating a disease. We're not doing anything to the disease at all. We're trying to get your body to be vibrant like that frog that jump into the hot water and jump right out. Mm-hmm. So... Um, and also, I was talking to um, Siobhan, your beautiful daughter. She's a nutritionist. Yes. And we said we also want to create a community. And the community is expanding. And everyone in the community believe ageless living. Yes. Believe life can offer incredible, vibrant energy, clarity, and beautiful service. We can mm-hmm. give it to each other. Mm-hmm. So I think that's one thing um, I, it's exciting is because I'm no longer in the disease management mode. Mode, yes. Right? Yes. So Dr. Lee, do you know medical doctors are going through huge burned out right now? Oh, I know. I, a lot of doctors, and I know some of Very them, Very burned out. Ha- have, have passed. Yeah. Not, they have burned out. They have passed. The suicide rate is getting higher. Yes. Especially among surgeons. Yes. Uh, and, and I know a couple who, you know, uh, it was unfortunate who committed mm-hmm. suicide at work. Yeah. You yep. know, they were used to making such an income. And some of them had Bobby top type wives. <laughs> oh, my They were used God. to living at a certain level. And not, not all, but, you know, it's just we just have to be careful you know, and then their expectations of life fell because the mm-hmm. money started dropping, the insurance mm-hmm. company's not paying, and right. then you burnt out. Yeah. And then now, you know, so much is controlled through standard of medicine. Mm-hmm. So they control a lot of what doctors can and cannot do. Exactly. Like you can't even use your own brain and you went to school yes. to treat a person. So they give you a whole list of what is standard of care. Yes. So this is standard of care. Yeah. Putting everybody on... A statin and drug is standard of care. Right. Yeah. Right. So I think one of the things I have so much compassion to medical doctors, not because my mom, my grandmother are both medical practitioners, it's really because I feel there's such sadness, there's such frustration. Not only they couldn't help their patient to get well, and I will never get tired of sharing my story. 
because when I discovered the wellness path, I'm mm-hmm. also really blessed. Yes. And and people say, you know, how could you um, do lifestyle, de stress, and nutrition, and make a living, right? I I, I just really share. With my friends and families and my colleagues, there is a different way. Life mm-hmm. is incredible mm-hmm. outside that box, yes. that prison we make for ourselves. Yes. So anyway, I'm just really excited to share that. <laughs> <laughs> you should be, and we discussed so much, and we're gonna keep moving along here because we we got to get to the sex part. Yes. And, um, you know, we know about the environmental things that are really stressing us out. There's so much literature out there and the things that are stressing you out in your homes as kind of a little recap here. Yes. And so the things that we can do and and even using the wrong utensils to cook with. Yes. You know, that are very toxic and what chemicals are you putting in your food? Yes. So sometimes you think, um, you know, and let people know, too. Um, because I haven't brought it up with them because I mm-hmm. send a lot of my patients to mm-hmm. lifeextension.com mm-hmm. because they don't need a doctor's order to do their hormone 20, level, 24-hour um, cortisol levels to know what your stress levels, but also you want to know your C-reactive protein. I always say this. Always know what your inflammation markers are, Yes, um, your uh, homeocysteine levels, your hemoglobin A1C, blood tests, because there's something called functional levels, so you don't want to see it over 5.0. Mm-hmm. So there's certain things you want to know. Insulin levels right. are very important. So you can know what's happening with your body yes. along with your routine lab. When we say routine, that's the kidney function, the liver function test, your CBC, and know your lipid panel. Know what yes. your lipid panel, which brings again to this wonderful machine that we have because it will show plaque. You know, building up in the arteries. So know what's going on there. Channel 7 had a report on TV yesterday dealing with plaque that's building up and um, how it will start to tear uh, and cause Mm -hmm. problems in the women's heart. So more women under the age of 40 are having heart attacks Yes, because of this. And so I'm so glad that we have this tool that only takes three minutes. So if it shows plaque... You need to start checking and see what else is going on. Change your lifestyle so that we can turn this around. And we will be doing this test uh, free at the the Spectrum International Beauty Expo that will be held uh, this in March. (laughs) And I know you're going to fly back in to help me. (laughs) So you're going to be there as well in March. (laughs) And March when? March 16th and 17th, I believe, Jarvis Spectrum International Beauty. 18th and 19th. Uh, it will be held 18th and 19th, 2018, just in case somebody comes up. So we want to talk about the cardiovascular assessment that we will we'll be providing there, along with my regular people that come in, mm-hmm. and I do what is called beauty shop stroke screening. Mm-hmm. And that is an ultrasound screening of the carotid artery and the vertebral artery. I've wow. been doing this at this event for years. So we will be there this year, um, 2018, at the Marriott Hotel. Correct, Jarvis? Yes, correct. That's wonderful. So So I think uh, that's a really incredible um, way to assess your cardiovascular system because many women have silent heart attacks. Yes. And oftentimes their very first symptom is, is death. Um, so, you know, that's actually the, with the a, first a cardiologist is, is <laughs> talk about it. Um, so many of them don't have the classic I'm so symptom. Glad I didn't have the classic yeah. symptom. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm not trying to scare people. I just I no, think but it's sometimes true. it's true. This is yeah. why more women are dying from heart, heart disease. disease than breast cancer. Yeah. But we put more emphasis on breast cancer exactly. than we do heart disease. So I think, yes. you know, people talk about this month is cardiovascular month. This month is this. This month is that. Yeah. We even, then we have a month of hugs. So maybe it's a day of <laughs> hugs. <laughs> but I'm just saying to me, it's every day. Yes. It's every event that I could be there. You know, if you want me to come in to do stroke screening and vascular screening assessment, please do not hesitate to call me mm-hmm. at... Uh, uh, we'll put the new phone number up on the screen so you can see how to reach us uh, yes. at any time, which yes. is important. So I'm going to let you get into um, the why we are utilizing the treatment plan that we're using now for people to heal. 
Wonderful. So one of the things I just want to encourage everyone for the Max Pulse scan is because it, it gave you two things. Number one, it gave you an arterial assessment. The second thing is they are going to give you a picture of your stress management system. So it give you sympathetic activity versus parasympathetic. Yes. Uh, next time, hopefully, we'll have a PowerPoint to show you. It also shows your different hormonal levels, your um, stress management, um, you know, level, your stress resistance, and at the end of three minutes, you get both report on your heart heart system. Isn't and that your amazing? Stress in system. three minutes, yeah. your physical stress and also your mental stress. Yeah, yeah. Because a lot of people say, well, you know, I'm my physical stress was okay, but they don't realize that mental stress it's, is just as bad. Right. The mental stress. So it gives you all of this, and you get so much information in just three minutes. Yes, and I love minutes. it. And they walk away. You walk away with the information, so you know that right now I need to make some changes. Yes. Right now. Yes. And some people right now, we might need to do something a little aggressive before right. it's too late. Right. And, and I, even at the expos, we've been able to really save lives. Yes. Because a person was symptomatic and thought, oh, I just thought it was my low blood sugar. And they were dizzy and come to find wow. out it was so, they had 90% blockage in the car carotid artery. And they wow. were not getting enough blood to their brain. And plus it was hard plaque. Because hard plaque, they, you know, they showed me on the screen how it looks more like a little... Like chalk is really, right. is really, right. is really right. opaque. So yeah. the thing is, is to make sure that you, that you, you know, manage. We talk about managed care, but right. it's so important that you learn how to manage your own care. So yes, um, the Pulse Wave, uh, we have it at our clinic at New Wellness Healthcare. So call me so you can come in for your tests. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's very important. I am so excited that uh, I am part of this team. So that's just um, one of the things. We're going to talk a little bit about the strategy. Mm -hmm. So I want to share yeah. with people, um, a couple of days ago, I had a, a very stressful day. Mm -hmm. And um, normally I was pretty balanced, and that was particularly challenging. And, and another thing is when you have a challenging day, instead of closing your heart, and, and express gratitude for the challenging day because there's it's things so happen for yes. good reason. Yes. But nevertheless, my sympathetic is way off the chart. And um, we have two incredible nutrients. And um, it's a spray, sublingual spray. So when we spray the nutrients, uh, why spray? Well, number one, our brain is hidden behind the blood-brain barrier. And it's a, the blood-brain barrier does not allow many nutrients to get in. Exactly. For example, you know, people say, I'm just going to eat avocado. It doesn't go into your brain right away. So um, the deliver system is really important. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so uh, the spray is a natural deliver mechanism, and it's called a liposomal deliver. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, what is in the spray is important, right? Mm -hmm. So we found there are four neurotransmitters in the brain, main neurotransmitter, together with a lot of amino acid. Right. One of them is called GABA. Exactly. Now, GABA is the most calming neurotransmitter. Yes, it is. It's the yes. most dominant inhibitory neurotransmitter. We're supposed to produce a lot of them at night. But a lot of women, they work around, you know, multitasking all day long. By the time they cook and finish cleaning up and everything, they go to bed. Their body is exhausted. Yes. But their brain turns on. Why is that? Because GABA activity goes down with age, mm -hmm. brain injury, and also menopause. When women go through menopause, their, their progesterone level goes down. Progesterone is the best helper of GABA. So a lot of women going through insomnia, anxiety, irritability, and, irritability, mm -hmm. and they are so, they, they, they're, they're, they're going to bed, their, their brain turns on, which is really detrimental to their brain. So the spray, we have GABA in there. You, you use it's it at night. I've tried it. And the other uh, ingredients is L-DOPA. L-DOPA actually is a precursor for dopamine. Mm -hmm. Dopamine is one of those, those neurotransmitters that control craving, addiction, mm -hmm. performance, sex drive, 
those are the things people want to have, right? So dopamine is really important. The third ingredient is alpha GPC, which is actually acetylcholine precursor. Yes. Acetylcholine control memory. You know, I, I saw this young woman. She's really productive, effective. Then she started can can remember things, and she spent like thirty minutes looking for a car key. You can tell this is so important to have acetylcholine level. Okay. Yes. Yes. The last one is Russian mumi, which is adaptogen. It helps the body to adapt to stress. Yes. And amino acid. We have nine amino acid. Something like. Arginine, lutein, lysine, taurine, those are balanced, that. taurine, exactly. So when you spray that, bring energy, you know, I would say bring food. Yes. At night, your brain can start having a good rest and turn down that overstressed head. <laughs> yes. And then you can sleep well. So when you wake up, your day is starting fresh. Yeah. So that's something I, ca- I came um, to Los Angeles last night after a very long flight and I slept from 1230 to 630 and I woke up. I'm ready to go. Right. Mm-hmm. It's really your brain got a good rest. Mm-hmm. It's, there's no drug in it. No. It's all helping your brain to rest. I've had well. the same experience since yes. I met you and, and it's been what a month since we've known each other, but a month and a half. Yes. And I could feel the difference. I can definitely feel the difference. Yes. I felt the difference the first night I used it. I know. I sprayed in her mouth in, <laughs> yeah. in Scottsdale. And then keep in mind, you know, spraying into your mouth, mm-hmm. it's going to go straight into the blood system right away. Yes. And that's why we would give people, you know, unfortunately, uh, when they might have needed uh, nitroglycerin because it's going to get into the body, get into the yes. heart, get into the blood system right away. So right. sublingual is just so wonderful to get into the body so fast and you feel the difference and dealing with the pituitary gland so you can yes. discuss how it helps with the pituitary as well. Yes. So um, Dr. Lee felt it, the neurotransmitters benefit right away. Mm-hmm. But what's really beautiful is this program actually can slowly train your brain to not to get so stressed. So I have been using this spray consistently for 11 years and I didn't realize, you know, Actually, aging is, is called a normal. <laughs> and so when I met my friends I haven't seen for 11 years, their hairs are all graying and they're all like getting a little pooty. And I was like, oh, that's the normal aging looks like, right? <laughs> yeah, for them, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I shared with Dr. Lee, I just started mountain biking. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm 54 years old. I was horrible mountain biker. I used to crash all the time. So now I was able to learn something new at the older age on something I was bad at. So I just want people to know life is unlimited once your brain gets a good rest, yes, right? Much. So. Well, we, we know about sleep. We're not going to do sleep today because uh, yes. we know it's, that's that's a whole show by itself. Yes. So we're not going to go into that. But, you know, before our time is up, I want us definitely to get into another topic that we have as part of the show, and that's sex. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so we have five minutes. Five minutes. Okay. You have so. three. <laughs> no, four. Go ahead. Really, really interesting. Um, I want people to know, number one, testosterone level had been drastically decreased. Um, I know many people know testosterone. Sex hormones are not just, um, you know, measurable in the blood. Women can smell it. They can feel it. Mm -hmm. It's a hormone that's in the air. And so is estrogen and progesterone. So now we have a lot of chemicals. These chemicals are mostly agriculture chemicals, furniture chemicals, they are xenoestrogens. Exactly. They're not your own estrogen. Mm-hmm. They also are testosterone blockers. Many of the sunscreen are very potent testosterone blockers. Horrible. So we are, number one, blocking the receptor for mm-hmm. the sex hormones. So you can, you can be next to a beautiful man, handsome, and you, 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 sh- you should be completely, you know, turned on. But because your receptors are blocked up. Mm-hmm. Okay? So that's number one. Number two... When we have stress, the stress hormone will overwhelm the sex hormone production. Women don't even ovulate when they're stressed. So we are not producing as much, and our receptors are blocked up. So what happened in this situation? 
is we all look great, but we're not attracted to each other. And that is really detrimental to the society. Yes, it is. When the man and the woman and two women, two men are making love, we have much more peace. Don't you agree? Of course. When they're frustrated <laughs> and they go to war. So that's just yeah. my <laughs> analysis of the that's whole so world true. situation. Mm -hmm. Of course, also, I just have to mention this. A lot of the animals carry lots of stress. So when we are eating them, um, the meat and dairy, sometimes they have stress hormones in there too. Yeah. So I just want you to know, um, when you choose the food, choose happy food. Plant-based happy food. <laughs> happy food. And okay. just be, be aware the hormone level could be low. But if you clean your receptors, right, Yeah. you can be more sensitive. And, you know, I just want to say, too, you can always uh, give me a call. Um, Dr. Lou and I are now very, very good colleagues and friends. Yes. And the thing is, uh, there are tests you can you can do. There's tests you can do through my clinic uh, um, to actually find out. what yes. The products that we're speaking about will be posted on our website. But it would be yes. best to call because I don't like people to just start ordering things. I think you need to be assessed yes. and get a little bit more history going here as well. Instead of you just saying, you know, that sounds good. I think I want to do this. Right. Let, let's just get a little bit more thorough uh, history uh, to see what's going on. Because yes. uh, may, you might think it's one thing when it's really something else. And I, I have that happen all the time when yes. people try to self-diagnose over the Internet. Dr. Google. <laughs> Dr. Google. Oh, very good. <laughs> I like that. Okay. Dr. Google. <laughs> and a lot of people will do that. So please, you know, don't, don't assess yourself that way. You know, get legal help. Not legal help, but... <laughs> <laughs> Professional help. Professional help. I can tell now that everything is kicking in working. Yes. Okay, but <laughs> please get professional help. It's so important. And I just want to say that um, um, you have, like, take one minute and then look into the eyes of that person. If though they were sitting in front of you and tell one minute, what would you tell them? Wrap it up. One minute. Yes. Is number one, follow your heart. And know life is short and live your life as if tomorrow is your last day. If your body is now feeling it, figure out what are the toxins in your body, what is the stress, and then take action. Remember the frog, always in the lukewarm water. You don't want to stay there. Get out as soon as you can. And enjoy life and tell people your secret. That was beautiful. And that was a really nice nutshell there. Thank you so much. Thank you. And again, thank you so much for being on the show. And um, I just want to say, you know, kind of a not even a recap of everything. It's just been wonderful. Please share this show with your friends. Little things that you can do to find out what's going on in your environment. We gave you the website, antenna website, to see what's going on. If those things are happening, you know, there's things that you can take and do. Um, the, the products from this company is unbelievable. We have tested it out and seen the results. So we know that the body's healing, not just to say uh, you, all the pesticides and whatever you've been taking. <laughs> it is, maybe it's gone because you're now a vegan and you're not eating, <laughs> you're eating organic. But to actually test to find out, you were able to do that on yourself. Yeah, I actually just met a vegan lady. So she we eat organic in, we and she still had the toxins. No, we know so that happens. So yeah. I just said, let's make sure. Yes. But just, just because you just started being a vegan doesn't mean that now that you're a healthy person. Right. You're not vegan all your life. And right. that's what a lot of people say. Well, I can't be sick. I, I've been a vegan for a year. But, you know, what happened to the rest of the years prior to? Yes. All these stores in the fat. No, we do not want to yes. be over fat because of uh, just looking good. We don't want to be over fat because these toxins live in that fatty tissue. Yes. So keep in mind the belly fat. And all that leads to many, many problems. So let's work together. There's a wonderful detox program, a weight loss program with this, and not just a program. This is a way of life. This is yes. so that you are healthy and not just taking something for a quick fix. This is not a quick fix. I wouldn't still be here today if I were doing quick fixes because yes. I was in the coma in 92 and all these other things. So no quick fix is going to keep you here and healthy. We're going to wrap up the show, and I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for all of the wonderful happy birthday wishes. I thank you for taking the time to even text me. Those hundreds of you have called me since starting at 5 o'clock this morning. <laughs> I just want to thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. You know, everyone, 
Have a wonderful, blessed day. And as I end my show, what do I say? So repeat after me. <laughs> I am. I am. So grateful. So grateful. That I am. That I am. A magnet. A magnet. For miracles. For miracles. And that's how I met Dr. E. God bless you. Everybody have a wonderful, blessed week. Shows that make you laugh. Shows that make you think. Music that moves you. It can only be one place. Universal Broadcasting Network. Tune in at ubnradio.com. Join us every Wednesday live at 11 a.m. for a new wellness TV with Dr. Lee. Remember, healthy mind, healthy body.